Bonnie's Midnight Wander, the clock struck midnight at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and the restaurant lay in complete silence. The tables were cleared, the lights were dimmed, and the once bustling pizzeria was now an eerie, hollow shell. But not everything was still. In the darkness, something stirred a slight creaking, like metal joints stiff with age. Bonnie, the animatronic bunny with a deep purple sheen, stood on stage with the rest of his bandmates, frozen in place. But, as the clock hit twelve, his eyes blinked to life, glowing faintly red. Slowly, his head turned, scanning the empty room. This was his time. With heavy, mechanical steps, Bonnie descended from the stage. The creaking of his joints echoed softly, but there was no one to hear it, no one except the night guard sitting in the security office, blissfully unaware of what was happening in the dark halls. Bonnie wasn't like the others. Freddy led, Chica followed, and Foxy was always on the edge, unpredictable. But Bonnie, Bonnie was curious. He liked to explore when the humans weren't around. His mind, or what was left of it, wandered just like his body did through the shadowy halls. He moved past the empty party rooms, the blinking lights of the arcade machines reflecting off his dull purple suit. He paused near the hallway to the security office, tilting his head as he stared at the camera above. He knew it was watching him. They always were, but it didn't matter. Bonnie had learned how to move just out of sight. Inside the security room, the night guard sipped his coffee, yawning as he flipped through the camera feeds. Everything looked normal until he reached the feed for the West Hall. Bonnie was gone from the stage. The guard's heart skipped a beat as he scrolled through the feeds faster. Panic rising. Suddenly, a shadow moved across the hall near the supply closet. It was just a blur, but it was enough to send a shiver down his spine. Bonnie was close to close. Bonnie moved with surprising silence for something his size. He stopped just outside the door to the security office, listening to the faint sounds of the guard inside. His large, robotic fingers twitched as he prepared to knock, almost playfully. But Bonnie didn't knock. Instead, he moved closer, his eyes glowing brighter as he peered through the small window on the door. The guard gasped, scrambling to close the door. But it was too late. Bonnie had found him. Bonnie tilted his head, watching the man fumble with the controls. He pressed his face against the window, his cold, mechanical grin fixed in place. The last thing the guard saw before the power cut out was Bonnie's glowing red eyes, watching always watching, and then the night was silent once more.